Hey everyone, in today's video, we're testing a mean reversion strategy. We'll walk through the entire process, from explaining how the strategy works, to optimizing it using FreckTrade, an open source trading bot, and finally running back tests to see how it performs. If you're looking for a complete beginner-friendly FreckTrade tutorial, check out the link in the description below. Before we dive into the strategy, let's first break down the key indicators we'll be using. 1. Bollinger Bands Bollinger Bands are one of the most popular technical indicators used by traders to analyze volatility and price movement. They were developed by John Bollinger and are composed of three lines. Middle Band This is usually a 20-period simple moving average. It shows the average price over the past 20 candles. Upper Band this is the middle band plus two standard deviations. Lower band. This is the middle band minus two standard deviations. Bollinger bands are often used for mean reversion strategies. When the closing price falls below the lower band, it may indicate the asset is oversold. So we consider entering a long position. When the price crosses above the upper band, it may suggest the asset is overbought. So we consider entering a short position. However, we can't rely on Bollinger Bands alone. We need to combine them with other indicators to avoid false signals. 2. RSI The Relative Strength Index helps us measure the strength and momentum of price movements. While RSI is often used to identify overbought and oversold conditions, in this strategy, we use it as a trend filter instead. Since we're trading on the one-hour time frame, the one-hour RSI can be noisy and less reliable due to short-term fluctuations. That's why we use the RSI on a higher time frame, four hour, to identify the broader trend. If the four hour RSI is above 55, we only look for long positions. If the four hour RSI is below 45, we only look for short positions. This approach helps us stay aligned with the overall market direction and avoid trading against the trend. Three ADX. The Average Directional Index is a powerful indicator that tells us whether the market is trending or ranging, but it doesn't indicate the direction of the trend. It ranges from 0 to 100. An ADX value below 20 suggests a weak trend or sideways, choppy market. An ADX value above 20 indicates a strong trend, whether it's upward or downward. We apply ADX to both the 4-hour time frame and the one hour trading time frame. To confirm a valid trend, we want the ADX to be above 20. This helps us avoid trading in sideways or choppy markets. Now that we understand how each indicator works, let's walk through how we combine them to identify trade setups and generate signals. To enter a long position, we wait for all of the following conditions to be met. Four hour RSI is above 55. This indicates the overall market trend is bullish and we should only consider long trades. The ADX must be above 20 on the one hour time frame and above 25 on the four hour time frame. This confirms there is enough trend strength and momentum across both short and medium term charts. The closing price must fall below the lower Bollinger Band on the one hour chart. This suggests the market is oversold and a potential reversal to the mean may occur. Once all of these conditions are met, we enter the long trade on the next candle. This approach allows us to combine momentum, volatility, and trend confirmation, increasing the probability of a high quality setup. After entering the trade, we set the stop loss just below the low of the signal candle to give the trade enough breathing room and avoid being stopped out by small fluctuations. We further subtract 4.5 times the ATR, average true range, from the closing price of the signal candle. We exit the trade when the price closes above the upper Bollinger Band. This typically indicates the price has become overbought and a pullback may follow. By exiting at this point, we lock in profits before the market reverses. To enter a short position, all of the following conditions must be met. Four hour RSI is below 45, indicates a bearish trend. ADX is above 20 on the one hour chart and above 25 on the four hour chart. Confirms trend strength. Price closes above the upper Bollinger Band. Suggests overbought condition. We enter the short trade on the next candle. 
Stop loss is set just above the high of the signal candle, plus 4.5 times ATR for volatility buffer. Take profit when price closes below the lower Bollinger Band indicates a potential reversal. Now that we understand the strategy, let's move on to optimization using FrecTrade. We'll test on the one hour time frame and split the data into in sample, eight months, for tuning the strategy, out of sample, four months. For testing on unseen data, key parameters to optimize include BB period and BB STDs. Control the length and width of the Bollinger Bands. HTF RSI threshold helps define the RSI level used to filter trade direction. HTFA DX threshold and a DX threshold ensure sufficient trend strength on both time frames. ATR multiplier determines how far the stop loss is placed from the signal candle. We'll use FrecTrade's HyperOpt feature to find the best combination of these parameters. Once optimization is done, we'll run a full backtest to see how the strategy performs with the best parameters in place. All right, let's take a closer look at the backtesting results. We ran the backtest on near perpetual futures using the one hour time frame over the past year with the optimized settings. Here's what we found. The strategy delivered a total profit of 179%. For comparison, the market itself returned around minus 66% during the same period. The maximum drawdown was 19.318%, which means the strategy did experience some pullbacks, but overall it managed risk well and stayed profitable. Now, let's take a look at the visual summary of these results. This strategy was optimized using eight months of in-sample data, then tested on four months of out-of-sample data. That helps ensure it's not just curve-fitted to the past, but also performs well in new, unseen market conditions. If you'd like access to the full strategy file, along with the complete step-by-step -step FrecTrade tutorial, it's available to supporters through the link in the description. It's a great way to support the channel, and in return, you get everything you need to build, run, and customize this strategy on your own. There's also a pair-optimized version available so you can run it across multiple trading pairs, each with its own fine-tuned parameters for better performance. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share it with your friends who might find it useful too. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.